all right my people welcome back onto this channel well this is another strong one he share she hmm tanya long could barely stand due to severe beatings in detention lawyer alleges all right my people the news in details well an update on isheshe activist adegbola abdulaziz aka tanya long who was arrested and then remanded in a correctional facility in Ilorin Kwara State as surfaced. He was remanded for allegedly insulting the emir of Ilorin al Aji Ibrahim Sulu Gambari, among other offenses. Well, Adedamola Sholesi, one of the lawyers representing Abdulaziz in court said that the Sheshe activist could barely walk or stand in court due to the severe beatings he received in jail. Addressing Isheshe adherent after a court hearing at the Upper Area Court in Ilorin, Wednesday, Solesi reassured the crowd that Tanya Long would regain his freedom. Speaking in Yoruba, he said, let me tell you, number one, Tanya Long was beaten to the point where his leg, his left leg has now developed issues. He can no longer stand straight. He has filed a preliminary objection stating that Tanya Long cannot be arrested for one offense and then tried in two different courts. We are trying to have the case thrown out of court and then the respondents have responded saying they need seven days to reply to our petition. Well, and then the lawyer also spoke on the arrest of another Isheshe devotee who was arrested in Ibado by the Kwara State Police Command on the grounds of the formation of character. So let's he said they were unable to effect his bail as he is being tried alongside Tanya Long. He, however, reassured the crowd that both men would regain their freedom soon. On Baba today's case, we could not effect his bail on Wednesday as his case and the Tanya Longs are being tried at the same time. The preliminary objection case must first be aired before they can be released per the court's instruction, he added. So Lacey also responded to a question from the audience asking why they have been denied access to Tani alone since his arrest. We also discussed this in court today and then the judge responded by saying even people who have been sentenced to death still have the right to be visited by their people. The police came and then claimed that no one came to see Tanya alone and then even if someone did visit, they claimed this probably, probably people came after visiting us, Solesi said. All right, my people, and then this exactly is what is reaching us right now. Well, we have said it. In fact, this Tanya Long's case is now the order of the day as we speak. Majority of people, in fact, everywhere right now you go to, every media is all about Tanya Long. And then what does that tell you? We have said this before. With everything that has been done to Tanya Long, it will make him to be more popular. Yes, it will make him to stand out. And exactly what is actually going on. Everybody has made it clear that Tanya Long must be released with, with immediate effect because he has committed no crime. Yes, and then so also it has been stated that people who actually arrested Tanya Long in Ibadan, that they actually they are kidnappers. They have to face the music also. 
Yes, my brother, my studies is so serious. Ishe Shetani alone could barely stand due to severe beatings in detention. His lawyer alleges. My brother, my sister, a lot of things are actually going on. That's exactly how innocent souls will always be beaten hmm. without you no know, committing any offense. Hmm. I think it has gotten to that stage that everybody needs to you no know, come out and speak out their minds. No, if you want to actually talk about the hardship in the first place, it's nothing to write a, mo a home about. Not to talk of hmm, you now maltreating somebody. No, a lot of people be like, hmm, where person never even chop? Now you can't they say make the person come go to work. Now a lot of people are hungry, looking for what to eat. You are not saying they should go and be fighting and then you know, all sort of things that is not necessary. Well, my brother, my sister, the truth of the matter is Nigeria as a country is a country that has disappointed a lot of people. We are saying it without missing words. It has disappointed a lot of people. That's why you see majority of people running to another country. Nigerians, there's no place, you not, no country you will not see Nigeria. Nigerians, that's just the truth because nothing is actually working everybody needs to leave to you no know, to make it to be to be settled is this supposed to be like that that's exactly what we are talking about is it actually supposed to be like that it is not supposed to be like that but it is happening the people can no longer tolerate it that is why one voice i've said it times to that number if we have one voice a lot of things will work out for good if not, we'll continue to suffer. We need one voice, and then I pray that everybody come out, comes out one of these days. Because I know a lot of people are hoping already that, oh, they should not worry you. They will see us in no time. But I think it would be a good thing if everybody can work together. It will, very, it will be a very nice thing for everyone to work together. Because as it stands right now, it is not making any sense at all. Everybody needs to wake up and uh, do the needful. Yes, a lot of people have talked about Yoruba Nation and then uh, how the people are supposed to wake up and forget about one Nigeria. You will not blame the people. And exactly what we are actually seeing. A country whereby you don't have freedom of speech, you don't have freedom of movement. It is no longer a country. It's only the good Lord that will help us all. Well, my brother, my study is exactly what it is. On to this one, what more can we say? Let me have your own take, my people, and remember to subscribe for more updates. If you are just joining us on this channel for the first time. All right, thanks, and God bless.